Hey cow, say moo. Okay, say moo. Very well. You shall not be invited to the tea party. <laughs> oh, I'm out checking the cows. We have three little babies. I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of hidden. You can barely see one over there. Eh, a couple of them. Anyway, going for a walk after uh, eating a little something. Um, I broke my toe, I think. I don't know. So if it's bouncing erratically, well, I jammed it pretty good at the very least. I stubbed it on the foot of the bed last night. And, um, boy, it hurt. I know the toenail's black this morning already. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of an aside. Um, this video more or less is just about giving some insights that I've gained over the years in the gardens. And I think a lot of people expect to, if they do everything they see, the, the, get the perfect soil, make sure the weeds are gone, um, water like you're supposed to, fertilize, do everything right, and still have failures. I think that upsets people. I think people assume, not everyone, um, mostly people who are new to gardening, I think you, you expect that if you do everything the way you're supposed to do it, or the way you understand that you're supposed to do it, that you're going to have success all around. There's one problem there, and I've learned this the hard way because I used to feel that way myself, and it, I used to wonder, what did I do wrong? I, I've done everything I'm supposed to do. Well, there's one factor that is going to make the biggest difference overall every single time and that is that the weather is going to do what the weather is going to do and we schlubs with our little gardens can't do a thing about it so you may have a great year with your watermelon um, but have a complete failure with your tomatoes you may have a great year with your tomatoes and peppers and you may have a great year with just about everything except for maybe your peas and carrots. Um, it has everything to do with weather. Not everything. I mean, obviously there are some things you can do to, uh, to help, but sometimes, and it's going to be true pretty much every year because in a garden you're growing crops that generally aren't used to growing together. So, they're not all going to respond the same every year. And that makes sense, and that's okay. It's one of the things that you kind of come to terms with as a gardener. You expect it, you come to expect it. And so when you have a great year, if you're one of those gardeners like I am that likes to put up a lot of your produce grow enough to last you through the winter, then you are grateful <laughs> for those years when you have an abundance of, say, green beans, um, but not so much in corn and carrots. I'm just admiring my flower bed, sorry about that. <laughs> but not so much in corn and carrots and, and what have you. Um, and that that's okay because maybe you'll have enough green beans to last you into the next winter and you'll have an abundance of something else. It's just the cycle, it's the way things go. And that's one of the truths of being a gardener. Um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to talk about that because I see a lot of people asking questions, not necessarily on my channel, but other channels that I, that I watch. Um, people wondering what they've done wrong. The problem is, is that I see people in those channels, you know, the people that make those videos, trying to give... A reason and that's great I mean there's nothing wrong with advice but sometimes there is no reason there's one of my cannas blooming little seed sorry got a little distracted um but sometimes there's just nothing you can do <laughs> so anyway I just kind of wanted to make a video about gardening and the reason
realities of it. Um, some years are going to be too wet. Some years you can't get out into your garden because it's so wet. And that's okay. Um, maybe you'll be fortunate enough to have a very prolific garden and you just have to fight a few weeds. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a, that's a good problem to have. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go inside and actually have a cup of tea. And I'm not inviting the cows since they're being antisocial. Anyway, you have a great day. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.